I've already done a couple of videos on this excellent Mario 5 frame kit from Speedy Bee. First at the review and a build, tune, mate and flight. But as I was building it, the instructions tantalizingly included details of the Pro package that included some LED strips and dedicated alloy mounts for the DJI 03 Air unit, which I couldn't find anywhere in the frame kit. And as it turns out, they've only just become available. So, here's a look at what you get, and I'll show you the differences between the Mario 5 Deadcat DC version, this one that I showed in the previous video, and the XH, the true X-Frame configuration. Hello, and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. The Pro option is available on both the DC, the Dead Cat, and the XH version. This is the DC Dead Cat version. The props are out of view. And it's simply a set of hardware parts that give you a couple of injection molded side panels with some LED strips, which are here, and a dedicated O3 air unit mounting mechanism. These are made of CNC alloy. And the advanced version that I reviewed last month, this one, has actually got plenty of space in the back to mount just about any VTX you want to use. There's plenty of room to fit analog, digital VTX, but you're going to have to find a way to fix it to the frame. There's plenty of pre-drilled holes in the bottom, so it's not going to actually be that hard. But this Pro Kit is designed specifically to fit the O3 air unit. So a quick look at these. So these are made of alloy and they fit in here on the existing standoffs and you get these LED strips that plug onto your board and there's some prop, uh, sorry, motor wire protectors here as well. I've used tape on my here. And there's also a couple of additional fixing brackets for fixing these plastic side mounts onto the existing hardware. Now, when I built this, I was asked quite a few questions. First one is, what's the difference between the XH version and the DC version? Well, as it turns out, they're absolutely identical. I've got a full XH version here which I, I didn't build up. I wanted the dead cat version, but these are the arms of the XH version. And if we turn this over, you could see that the rear arms on the dead cat version are long and set back. And the front arms are a little bit shorter, but they're designed so that the props will be out of view. Now, if we look at the arms for the XH version, they fit in exactly the same holes on top and bottom frame but you can see they actually sit further forward there and on the back they sit further this way. So it's a true X frame. So if you've got a DC version, dead cat version, and you want the XH, you can just go and buy some spare arms and they'll fit straight onto here. And the beauty of the way that these mount, you only need to remove two screws to change one arm. You take that one out and that one out, pull out the arm and slot in the new one. And the other question I got was about how much room is in the back compartment here and what VTXs could be mounted. As it turns out, there is loads of room in there. You could fit walk snail, O3 air unit, any analog VTX that you care to choose. Plenty of room in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to build up a full X version, which I've got here. What I'll do is modify this to use all these new O3 air unit mounting components. I don't think I will actually make the XH version because I'm more than happy with this. And to be honest, my type of flying suits more cinematic footage, so I want to keep the props out of view. So I'm going to rip this apart and put all these new parts in. Woo, well, there we go all bolted in. That took me about probably 15 minutes. Very straightforward. 
The alloy plates for holding the O3 air unit fit very nicely in there. The rear part screws through those holes at the back there. And then the front part replaces the two standoffs that were originally there. So very easy to fit. On the sides, we've got these plates which cover up all the connections and just make this a nice, neat little unit. The LEDs are in the side and I've soldered the, those to the uh, LED pins on the front corners. And that's it really, all just goes together very nicely. So let's just get this buttoned up and I'll show you the finished thing. What's going on there? Here we go. So it's actually pretty easy to put all this together. And as I said previously, I'm not going to upgrade this to the X5. I'm going to leave this as the dead cat because generally in the sort of flying I do, I'd rather not have the props in view. But as you saw when I did the comparison of the arms, it's actually a straight swap. So you can put the, you can convert a DC frame into an X frame and vice versa by just getting new arms. Well, you that. And what I have to say is that Speedy B frames and generally Speedy B stuff just screws together very nicely. One thing I was a little bit worried about let's just get this last screw in was the what was that oh, going hi oh, oh it's because the gopro bolts in the way what i was a little bit worried about was whether there was going to be enough space to get the motor cables through but there's plenty of space there i decided not to use the motor protectors that came with the pro kit personally i prefer to have them in this flexible nylon sleeving and then tape it to the arms. I find that's a lot easier to manage in the field. Not quite so protected, but it's just something that you can fix easily when you're out and about. You've always got some tape. Now there we go, looking very neat. And from the top, looks a bit lardy round there. I think the idea is that the air flows down through these front vents and then is scooped through these little bits at the side down through the inner part and down onto the air unit to keep things cool so no idea whether that really works or not but it looks just like a bought one very nice it is too now i've been flying my mario 5 dc for about a month with an o3 air unit just bolted to the bottom frame there's already some holes to fit and it's been a hundred percent fine I've really enjoyed using it. But if this Pro option was available when I got the frame, it would have been a little bit easier to build. The parts are beautifully made, which is what we've come to expect from Speedy B, and they look great. But it's not going to make it fly any better or worse, although it would, of course, add a small amount of extra weight. Anyway, the choice is yours if you want to spend an extra $14. But having said that, it does look fantastic. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.